The James Webb Space Telescope is NASA's largest and most powerful space science telescope ever constructed. The JWS Telescope is an international collaboration between NASA and its partners the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency. Also, thousands of engineers and hundreds of scientists work to make the JWS Telescope a reality, along with over 300 universities, organizations, and companies from 29 U.S. states and 14 countries. The James Webb Space Telescope was launched December 25, 2021 at 7.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, or 12.20 GMT, on an Ariane 5 rocket. According to NASA this is one of the world's most reliable launch vehicles. Hello wonderful person. And welcome to the Fact Factory. If you enjoy random facts and stories, please hit the like button because it helps us out a lot. Also, subscribe, share and hit the bell to be notified when new videos are uploaded. We really appreciate you. Now back to the show. In 1989, the Space Telescope Science Institute and NASA co-hosted the Next Generation Space Telescope Workshop, a name that would later be changed. This focused on the science and technical capabilities of an observatory that would follow the Hubble Space Telescope, the most powerful telescope at that time, which was estimated then to be in 2005. Scientists spent time ironing out the details and technicalities, and in 2002, renamed the Next Generation Space Telescope to the James Webb Space Telescope, and construction began only two years later. The James Webb Space Telescope is named after James E. Webb, NASA's second administrator. James Webb is best known for leading Apollo, the series of exploration programs that landed the first humans on the moon. The James Webb Space Telescope goals were motivated by previous findings from Hubble. Hubble's science pushed researchers to look to longer wavelengths to go beyond what Hubble has already done. Hubble is in a very close orbit around the Earth. More distant objects are more highly redshifted and their light is pushed from the UV and optical into the near-infrared. Thus observations of these distant objects requires an infrared telescope. Webb also has a much bigger mirror than Hubble. This larger light collecting area means that Webb can peer farther back into time than Hubble is capable of doing. The primary mirror size is 21.3 feet or 6.5 meters across. The mirror is comprised of 18 gold-plated hexagonal deployable segments. It also comes equipped with a five-layer deployable sunshield that is roughly the size of a tennis court. The JWS telescope has four science instruments. Near-infrared camera, near-infrared spectrograph, mid-infrared instrument, and near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph with the fine guidance sensor. The JWS telescope's enormous size and frigid operating temperature presents extraordinary engineering challenges. After launching from French Guiana, the telescope will travel to an orbit about 1 million miles away from Earth. This is a 29-day long trip. The JWS telescope will undergo six months of commissioning in space. This includes unfolding its mirrors, sunshield, and other smaller systems, cooling down to operating temperature, and also aligning and calibrating. Astronomers worldwide will then be able to conduct scientific observations to broaden our understanding of the universe. This revolutionary technology will study every phase of our cosmic history from within our solar system to the most distant observable galaxies in the early universe. The further out we look in space, the farther back in time we see. This is because light has a speed limit. When we look at stars in the sky, we see where they were when the light left them, not where they are today. This is why the JWS telescope has been nicknamed by many as a time machine. Webb's infrared telescope will explore a wide range to help us understand the origins of the universe and our place in it. An infrared telescope is a telescope that uses infrared light to detect celestial bodies. Infrared light is one of several types of radiation present in the electromagnetic spectrum. All celestial objects with a temperature above absolute zero emit some form of electromagnetic radiation. This is why the telescope's unique design and location is important. 
Unlike its predecessors the JWS telescope is designed to make observations in the infrared spectrum. To do that it must be kept under a temperature of 50 Kelvin or negative 223 degrees Celsius or negative 369 degrees Fahrenheit. Otherwise, infrared radiation from the telescope itself would overwhelm its instruments. It therefore uses a large sunshield to block light and heat from the sun, earth, and moon. Its position, the L2 Lagrange point, keeps all three bodies on the same side of the spacecraft at all times. The five-layer sunshield, each layer as thin as a human hair, is constructed with membranes specially coated with aluminum on both sides, and a layer of silicon-doped aluminum on the sun-facing side of the two hottest layers to reflect the sun's heat back into space. The Hubble telescope, although not its primary mission, can observe infrared with its near-infrared camera and multi-object spectrometer. The NICMOS is an instrument providing the capability for infrared imaging and spectroscopic observations of astronomical targets and has taken loads of spectacular images for scientists to study. The catch was, this instrument had to be actively cooled down in an extremely difficult process. These images and discoveries made by the Hubble and also the Spitzer Space Telescope prompted the creation of the James Webb Space Telescope. Construction wasn't completed until late 2016 and had a launch that was initially planned for 2007 with a US $500 million budget that quickly skyrocketed. There were numerous delays and cost overruns, including a major redesign in 2005. A ripped sunshield during a practice deployment, the COVID-19 pandemic, issues with the Ariane 5 rocket, and the telescope itself all played parts in the delays. The James Webb Space Telescope is expected to cost NASA $9.7 billion over 24 years. Of that amount, $8.8 billion was spent on spacecraft development between 2003 and 2021. $861 million is planned to support five years of operations. Adjusted for inflation in 2020 dollars, the lifetime cost to NASA will be approximately $10.8 billion. The JWS telescope will directly observe a part of space and time never seen before. It will gaze into the epoch when the very first stars and galaxies formed, over 13.5 billion years ago. Ultraviolet and visible light emitted by the very first luminous objects has been stretched or redshifted by the universe's continual expansion and arrives today as infrared light. We already know the JWS telescope is designed to see this infrared light with unprecedented resolution and sensitivity. Webb will also be a powerful tool for studying the nearby universe. Scientists will use the telescope to study planets and other bodies in our solar system to determine their origin and evolution and compare them with exoplanets or planets that orbit other stars. Webb will also observe exoplanets located in their star's habitable zones or the regions where a planet could harbor liquid water on its surface and can determine if and where signatures of habitability may be present. Using a technique called transmission spectroscopy, the observatory will examine starlight filtered through planetary atmospheres to learn about their chemical compositions. After reaching its orbit, Webb undergoes science and calibration testing. Then, regular science operations and images will begin to arrive approximately six months after launch. However, it is normal to also take a series of first light images that may arrive slightly earlier. The Webb and Hubble missions are expected to overlap, providing complementary science. Hubble will continue its mission as long as its instruments are functioning. The JWS telescope, initially, was estimated to have a five-year and at best, a 10-year lifespan. But, now due to the launch going exceptionally well, a new analysis of its initial trajectory determined the JWS telescope should have enough fuel to allow support of science operations in orbit for, significantly, more than a 10-year science lifetime. The lifetime depends on the fuel levels and by the possibility that Webb's components will degrade over time in the harsh environment of space. Also because of its distance, and unlike Hubble, it cannot be upgraded. NASA combats this by being extraordinarily careful, double and triple checking everything, hence all the different delays.
I cannot wait to see what new things the James Webb Space Telescope uncovers. Whether it's a new exoplanet, discovery of a new distant galaxy, or even microbial life, I'm excited for what's to come. Let me know what excites you the most about the James Webb Space Telescope's mission by leaving a comment below. Once again, thanks for watching. We really do appreciate you. So help us out with a like, a share, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm already looking forward to seeing you in the next one.